I'm just gonna do this video with a red nose. I'm just gonna do it because I'm tired and I need to get it done and it's like 10 past nine, so. I'm just going to film it. So, today I'm going to be doing an America haul mixed in with a haul, a collective haul of things that I picked up yesterday when I was out in town with my friend. So, for those of you who don't know, I don't go on about it enough or anything, I went to America uh, for two weeks just now um, and I bought some stuff so I'm going to show you what that stuff is now. So we'll start with my slightly souvenir -y type things. So I picked up a whole bunch of postcards from all the places we went to because I like postcards and they're pretty. Um, uh, souvenir -y type things, yes indeed Amelia. So I got two souvenir tourist t-shirts. The first one I'm going to show you is from Washington DC. Um, it's just white with navy blue letters on. And I got this in a size small. I usually get mediums in t-shirts like these because I like them to be a bit baggier and like a bit bigger but this one I got in a small because they didn't have any mediums and it's just navy blue and it's kind of vintagey and cute and it looks really nice. So yeah. I like tasteful tourist t-shirts more than like you know the really gross ones you get. Like I like the muted colours and the dark colours and things like that. So. I love this one so much. This is from Cape May, which was my favourite place. We only had a day there, but it was so beautiful. I loved it. Um, and this is just a sort of grey-blue colour. It's kind of the same um, same colour as my Leavers hoodie from school. And I guess you'd describe it as a... Yeah, you'd describe it as a sort of steel blue, grey colour. I really like it. It's sort of a muted dark blue. Um, and then on the front, it's, it's got, like, Cape May in cream letters and then it's got a drawing of a mermaid and because I'm a mermaid I had to get the t-shirt um, and it's just a really cute, cute like retro kind of fun t-shirt design looks really cool like messily tucked into jeans yeah just liked it a lot to be honest with you good one good one Kate May nice now on to other clothing oh, I left a clothing down there damn it let me get, get the clothing I left. So in America, for those of you who don't know, there is a um, clothes shop called Old Navy, which I really, really like. It's basically kind of like New Look, H&M, that sort of thing, like sort of cheap, affordable fashion. Um, and a couple of years ago when we went, I picked up this white boyfriend t-shirt, which was just like a loose white t-shirt that I really liked. I did do an America haul back then, but I think it might be private now, because it was a long time ago. Um, and I basically got liquid latex on that t-shirt, and if you've ever got liquid latex on clothes, you will know that it just doesn't come out. That curl is annoying me. So I went back in hopes of finding a new one, but with not very much hope, because things go out of the season. And I found one! I found one, and I love it so much. It's just basically a plain white slouch t-shirt with pocket, and that's all it is. And I got it in size medium. Um, this one, also a size Oh no, that's a size small actually. I thought I got a medium in that. Oh well, it's a pretty baggy t-shirt anyway, so it's alright. This is a size medium. And they have these in so many different colours, like red, khaki, mustard. But I just went for the white one, because I liked it. And it's very, very soft and slouchy, and it just looks really good with like anything. So, good purchase. Everyone needs a plain white t-shirt in their wardrobe. Everybody. Okay. On to the other things I got in Old Navy. The first thing I got was a pair of leggings. Exercise leggings, because I don't have any. And I wanted a pair of Gymshark ones, but they are like 30 quid, and I'm a student, and I don't have the money for a pair of Gymshark leggings, so I got a pair of fake ones instead. But they have the thick waistband that I really, really like. It sort of sucks your tummy in a bit more. Um, and they're just leggings, really. Um, they're actually compression leggings, so they kind of hug a bit, which is nice. They make your butt look really good. Make your legs look... They just make everything look really good, actually. Um, and these are, again, a size small. Um because you just go for smaller sizes with gym clothes, I think. Something like that. Um, and they're just kind of this blue and grey... I want to say it's a mall pattern, but I don't think it is. But it's just blue, grey, that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, that's nice. I like that a lot. And then, to not match it at all, I got a grey sports bra, which just has like a racer back at the back. Um, and again, grey mall pattern. 
I don't think I'll be able to um, wear this running because there's no support in it whatsoever but it will be good for like weightlifting and strength and things like that and this is a size medium actually I did try on the small but it kind of cut off the circulation to my breasts so I was like okay gonna need a medium in that and continuing on the theme of exercise gear I got that is twisted I got this top which is just a running top so I do have a black sports bra but it's not like a sports bra like this it's like a bra but it's got extra support basically so I mean this will be good for like running so I can just put that on over the top and cover it up um, this is just one of those like running tank tops and it's got like twisty bits at the back so you can get some air in and it's like yeah it's a sort of thin mesh pattern you can kind of see me through it but kind of not that did not work um, I also picked up two pairs of jeans when we were in there the first pair are I'm going to show you the pair I'm wearing first these ones that I'm wearing and they are just I'm going to stand at my bed and show you they're just like a skinny fit pair of jeans with rips in them and yeah they're all crinkled because I've been sitting cross-legged um, and these are actually a size 4 I think they say that you need to go down a size so if you normally wear a size 10 you'd wear a size 8 so I normally wear a size 8 in jeans and I did try on a 6 in these but they were still like way too big around the waist um, but they fit my legs perfectly this is the issue I have with jeans my waist is much smaller compared to my legs so <laughs> I always need like I need like a 6 around the waist but a long in the leg and th that doesn't really exist so I settled for the size 4 which fitted me perfectly around the waist, bit short but I kind of do this thing with my jeans anyway where I roll them up so it's not too bad, it's okay it's just a good thing I happen to like that look on me more really isn't it because if I didn't we'd have some trouble um, and then the other pair of jeans I got are a pair of boyfriend jeans I've never worn a pair of boyfriend jeans before I don't know if I can pull them off but I'm trying um, these are just a light blue denim with rips in the jeans and again rolled up rips in the jeans, rips in the knees and rolled up ankles and these are actually a size 6 um, are they size 6? yeah these are a size 6 um, so I did again try on the size 8 but too big and then I tried on the size 4 of these and they were too small so I was like 6 these are actually still slightly too big for me so I basically need a size 5 I might do a bit more distressing on my own, like up here, maybe near the pockets and like maybe around the ankles a bit. Um, just, you know, make them look a bit more vintagey and old. Even though they're not, they're new from Old Navy. But I can pretend. Fake it till you make it. And then I got a pair of shoes, actually. Um, and you might think this is a bit extravagant, I guess. But actually, hear me out. So these are the new Nike Flex experience shoes I think um, and I just got them in the black and white colour now the reason I got these particular ones is because um, obviously I'm going to university um, I don't have any trainers like shoes in between running shoes and my converse I can't walk long distances in my converse because the soles are really thin and my knee gets dodgy and stuff so obviously walking around uni and stuff isn't going to be very good but my running shoes are also really ugly <laughs> so I picked up these just for a more sort of athleisure vibe but also they'd be really good for weightlifting too because um, they're quite flat um, so they would allow you to and they've got really good instep support too so they'd allow you to dig your heels in really um, firmly and these are the comfiest shoes I've ever worn I walked around Oxford yesterday for like the whole day and my feet did not ache at all very nice, very comfy. I like the instep support a lot, just dropped one, trying to cover it up. So the reason I got these in America rather than getting them over here is because a, trainers like these over here would maybe cost about somewhere between 90 to 100 pounds, something like that. And that's a lot of money, basically. That's like how much money I spent on my Timberland boots and they're like really good shoes. Um, but they were only $85, so these, basically $85 is maybe about I want to say like 60 to 70 quid so actually I saved so much money getting them in America so if you want to buy trainers get them in America like it's so there's such better value in America and yeah I just really like these they're comfy and I like them a lot so there you go nice shoes is that all my America stuff no it's not so the other thing I got in America haha <laughs> You're going to think I'm a six-year-old, a literal six-year-old. Um, I got the Crayola Super Tips. They're cheaper in America, again, so I thought I'd pick up a packet of them. And I got the 50-pack because 
I like them a lot. If you want to see them in action, head over to my blog because I've just put up a blog post about my September bullet journal um, and I use these in my September bullet journal too. I've left more pens over there, damn it, damn it, damn it. So the other pens I got are the Pilot um, G2 0.5 pens and I like these a lot. They're like gel rollable pens so they're, much, they're actually much better for bullet journaling and stuff than fine liners because the tip doesn't get worn, worn down after a while. So I love these, they have such like a smooth write to them, love them a lot. And then I also got the Tombow Fudinoski pens, Fedenosuki, Fudinoski, I don't know how it's said, but I got these. These two are washi tape together because I got two packs of them so that I didn't run out. Um, and these are the different, these are the ones I haven't used yet, so I'm taping them together until I actually need them because I don't want to have like two packs on the go at once. And you get one is a hard tip and one is a soft tip. Um, and they just kind of create different sorts of calligraphy basically. Um, I've been wanting these for so long but they're really expensive on Amazon so I wanted to see if they were less expensive in America, which of course they were, so I picked up two packs of them and brought them home. So now, my bullet journal is going to be great. I'm still practicing though because I tell you, bullet journalers make it look a lot easier than it actually is to use these. <laughs> it's really difficult. Um, and that concludes the America haul. Hope you enjoyed it. No, it doesn't. I forgot two things in Old Navy. I got these two rings. It looks like I'm swearing at you. And technically, I am swearing at you, but I'm not. Is it going to focus? Come on. It's literally not going to focus on them. But now you can see them. They are. One is like an infinity knot. And one is just a circle. Hope you like those two. I do, very much. They're very minimalist very kind of me things. Okay, we're gonna move on to the things I bought in Oxford yesterday. Oh, it's another Primark haul, but it's not mostly underwear this time, <laughs> sorry. Um, and then I've got an H&M bag, so I'm gonna start in Primark, I think. Yeah, I am. So, Primark receipt, don't need to look at that, do we? I actually only spent 25 quid worth though, which is really good for Primark, let's be honest. Um, so the first thing I got in Primark is a bubble hat because it gets cold in Manchester and I don't have a bubble hat, so I feel like I need one. And it's just grey with a sort of grey and black bubble on the top. They had these in like white with a pink bubble, pink with a grey bubble, grey with a pink bubble, but I thought, I thought I'd go for this one because it's easier to match with things and also it won't show the dirt very easily. So. I look a bit like a mushroom in them, but I don't care. Bubble hat. I don't look as good as Zoella does in them. I have to like have some of my hair out, I think, so I don't look so eggy. It was two pounds, so couldn't really pass it up, could I? Let's be honest. The next thing I got is a scarf, mainly for the same purpose, in that it is cold in Manchester. Um, and this is just grey, more grey, light grey, white, and it's got like a pig it's got like a big pink blob on it as well, basically the same sort of thing as this top. Um, and yeah, I just really like it. It's a big old blanket scarf, like really, really big. Um, I love this sort of scarf because you can proper like wrap up in it. Um, I really want more of these, so I might have to sneak into another Primark sometime soon and get some more because I like them a lot and they're only four pounds, so really perfect. Um, I'm gonna show you these anyway. I've got a four pack of thongs because Primark thongs are comfortable, apparently. I'm not a thong wearer, but Rach told me to get some because she told me they're comfortable, so four pack of thongs for two pounds. So there you go. Um, oh, yeah, this is underwear actually, isn't it? So this is a bra. It's very pretty, it's black. It's quite sexy, I think. Um, it's push-up, it's got lace on the bottom, and this is a size. I'm really proud of this actually, it's a size 32C. Now, I am tiny, <laughs> I have really small boobies, so to fit into a 32C is quite nice for me, if I'm honest. Didn't see any bralettes that I liked this time, unfortunately, but I found this, which is nice. And then the last thing is this, which is a big khaki green sweatshirt, and this was from the men's section, and this is a size medium, and this was £6. So, oh, the bra was £9, so that was actually the most expensive thing I got in my haul. But, yeah, it's a very tiny Primark haul again, but it's a good one this time. I really enjoy this a lot. So, yeah, this is size medium. It's just a big khaki green sweatshirt, and I love my myself a sweatshirt. The ribbed sleeves, the ribbed bottom, the ribbed neck. 
it's very nice. I can just imagine it very nicely. So there we go. We move on to the H&M bag. So the first thing I'm going to show you is the top I'm wearing, which is from H&M, which I got yesterday, and it's just a long sleeve. Oh my god, I've got internal hiccups. Why do I always get these when I'm trying to film? It's a long sleeve um, kind of rib knit jumper top type thing. And it's got like stripes of grey, white, dark grey. Or it might be black even. Black or navy blue. I can't work out if it's navy blue or black. It looks navy in some lights but then black in others. And then like pale pink which I love a lot. And I just love this so much. It's so nice. Flattering. Very pretty. And I like it. So there you go. And then I also got one of their pom-pom key rings because I'm going to have keys at university and I'm going to lose them. So I thought if I put them on a big red dark pink pom-pom, I'm not going to lose them. We'll see. That was 3 99 by the way. Didn't tell you that. 3 99 There you go. This was 17 99 and it's a size small. Because I think it's meant to be fitted so I didn't get it in a medium because it's meant to be sort of form fitting. So there you go. All's well that ends well. And then the next thing I got is a pair of running shorts because I didn't find any in Old Navy that I actually liked. So I got some in H&M instead and they're just shorts for running in. Remarkably. And these are a size small and I got these for 8 99 And they're just, they're just pretty plain. They're black and they've got like a pale pink band across the top and that's one of my favourite colours. So there you go. Nice. And then the last thing in my haul of hauls, in my tiny haul, is so out of my comfort zone, but I love it. It is a mustard yellow knit sweatshirt. Um, I've never worn a colour like this before. As you can see, it doesn't really suit me, but I really like this colour. I'm really into this colour. I have a cushion in this colour um, for my uni room, which you will have seen in my uni haul. Um, I, there's a coat and new look in this colour that I want really badly but don't also can't justify spending 35 pounds on a coat but yeah i settled with this sweatshirt this was 8.99 can you believe it can you believe that 8.99 for this and it's so soft and so lovely and i got this in a size medium because i wanted it to be a bit cozier but also it's kind of nice enough that i can dress it up and dress it down so yeah love that a lot and that is actually the end of my haul now I hope you enjoyed it. I did. It was fun. It was nice seeing you again and it was nice having you on my channel once more. Um, if you liked the video, give it a like. If you didn't like the video, give it a like or click away. Don't give it a dislike because that sucks and you're a bad person. Uh, comment down below any other video suggestions, ideas for me to do, uni stuff, other things, whatever you want to see, I will try and do it. And subscribe, obviously. Why do I always forget to say that? Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of me, because why wouldn't you? I mean, if you've seen this face, why wouldn't you see want to see more of it? So, there you go. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye.